in this situation you can assume that light travels in straight lines in a homogeneous medium until there is some obstacle or some reflector or some medium change or something it goes in a straight line which you call light ray it is also called ray approximation now in this uh, ray approximation the basic assumption is light goes in straight line in a homogeneous medium that we can see in our experiments also now light goes in straight line in a homogeneous medium can be explained understood just by symmetry of the space our space which i call homogeneous isotropic unless there is a material and that material has varying properties in varying positions or in varying directions if that be the case then it's a different story but uh, it's a truly homogeneous isotropic medium or vacuum and light is going in some direction at some point then uh, if it has to bend in which direction it will bend all directions are equal equivalent suppose light is going like this in two dimensional plane let me talk so light is going like this at some instant and now it has to bend suppose it doesn't go in straight line it's all homogeneous medium should it bend this way or should it bend this way all directions are equivalent all positions are equivalent is the same medium everywhere and the medium is isotropic isotropic means all directions are same so if it is going at certain instant in this direction should it move this way should it move this way how does it choose between these two if the medium is same or similarly if you go out of this plane you can have a bent like that bent like that so many bending directions you can make it cannot so it must continue in this direction so it must go in straight lines so many of the physics uh, phenomena can be explained just on the basis of symmetry of space of medium and so on and this is one of them now light going in straight lines has a different aspect interesting aspect suppose i have a point a and suppose i have a point b and uh, the medium is homogeneous isotropic so i say that light will take path from a to b which will be straight line path it will go like this not like this or not like this and so on okay so these paths are not allowed this path light takes this path you can also say that light has taken a path which is minimum of length of all neighboring paths or in terms of time light has chosen a path which takes it least time to reach from the given point a to the given point b now this simple statement is a great principle known as fermat's principle it's not only true for homogeneous isotropic media even if you have certain lenses mirrors some optical elements then also if you are given two points it has to choose a path which takes least time in a given situation that means all your optical elements are given what is optical elements mirrors lens prism like that so in a given situation light chooses a path for going from one point from one given point 